wondering why I have this bowl of soapy water in my sink. Well, every once in a while, we're all prone to dirty helmet liner. I'm going to wash my helmet liner today. I'll show you how I do that. It's got to be done, at least for me, several times a year. Uh, what I have here is the liner for my Icon Armada helmet. I've taken it out already. Um, I washed it uh, several times last year. It gets a little funky. You can see there's a little bit of sweat and, and oil. Um, not so much on the top, but more in the cheek pad area. We'll go ahead and uh, wash that up. I'll show you how I do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, just get some warm soapy water. I use this uh, generic cheap baby shampoo. Tell you the truth, I really don't care much for how it smells. If I had had the option to get an unscented shampoo, I probably would have done it. But if you rinse it out well enough, it's really not that big of an issue. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get started here. You just uh, dunk it in, dunk your cheek pads in the water. Get them all nice and wet. Just massage them around a little bit. You don't want to wring these things out because you'll ruin them. Certainly when you dry them, you just want to pat them dry, squeeze them dry as best you can. You certainly uh, don't want to throw them in a dryer or any kind of mechanical uh, heat producing type environment. Uh, you shrink your pads and possibly you know, ruin them. And granted, replacement pads for this helmet really aren't all that expensive. Forty bucks, maybe fifty bucks, but uh, you know why spend the extra money if you don't have to? And the general idea is just get them wet. Um, I wouldn't use uh, a scrub brush or any other kind of uh, abrasive uh, for this either. It could go very badly for you. This Icon Armada helmet that I bought uh, beginning of last year is uh, actually a pretty good investment. Uh, blows a ton of air for those warmer days. It's like seven intake vents on this thing. It's, I don't know, a bit on the noisy side. It isn't terrible, but I'm considering starting to wear earplugs this year just because I'm old and, <laughs> you know, my, my hearing. I probably should probably... I probably should... Save what's left of it. Okay, that one's probably about done. I'm going to work on the next one. One thing when you take your helmet apart, you kind of have to pay attention how it does come apart. I had never taken a helmet apart before uh, until the uh, first time I took this one apart. And it took me a few minutes to get the uh, liner back in it, but uh, if you slow down and pay attention, you'll, you'll be just fine. But uh, don't be scared of it if you've never taken a helmet apart before. Um, you know, there's, there's snaps. You can see right here. And there's also Velcro. Um, generally, these things will only go in, you know, one way. Um, it can be a little bit confusing because these tabs bend and fold. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you, it's not rocket science. If you think about it and, and just try different combinations, you'll get it back in there. Um, I didn't pay that close of attention when I took this thing apart for the first time. And uh, yeah, it took a little bit, but what the hell. Can't go around being scared of every little thing in your life. That one's probably pretty well done as well. Now I'll go on the, uh, the headliner part. In addition to uh, washing out the, the liner, as best you can. You're gonna want to also wipe out the EPS um, in the in the shell of your helmet uh, with uh, you know so just mild soap and water. You could use even the same water that you're using here. Take a, a clean rag and and uh, get some of this water on it. And uh, just wipe it out because that gets a little funky in there too.
again, we're not going to wring this out. We're just going to just going to gently squeeze out a lot of the excess water if we can. We're just going to rinse out this bowl, rinse out the sink real quick. We'll put in some clean water. it's warm. I don't know why. So we'll just run this uh, full of clean water. We'll try and get as much soap out as we can. And, uh, and I'll uh, take us over to the, the island here and uh, show you how I pat this thing dry. want to make sure we get all the soap out if we can. Just want to make sure that this is uh, all ready to rock and roll. We're just coming out of winter here in Wisconsin. Uh, heading into spring, the snow is starting to melt. Uh, the weather is warm enough during the daytime to ride, but there's a ton of salt on the road. And for those of you who live in areas that don't have a ton of snow and ice in the winter time and they don't drop a ton of salt on that to melt it. You're actually kind of lucky. I may, as nice as it is, I may end up having to wait for a week or two until it rains to get some of this crap off the road, but salt water is definitely not something that you want in your bike. Even if you wash it when you're done, you're still not going to get a lot of it out. And again, we do the same process as we did before, just trying to get the water in and the soap out. Just kind of squeezing it like a sponge, but not wringing it, not wringing it out. And granted, this thing isn't going to be completely, perfectly clean, but this actually does a pretty good job. You do this a couple times a year when you notice that your helmet's feeling a little grungy. Uh, you can see this water is uh, getting a little gray from the soap and the dirt that comes out of it. I like to smell it. Make sure it doesn't smell too much like soap. But still make sure that it smells clean. And I do actually have a full head of hair. I, uh, I don't shave my head, um, so I don't know what it's like for guys that uh, wear helmets with uh, no hair, bald heads, uh, people that shave. I don't know how much more often you'd have to clean your helmet liner than those of us with actual hair. Um, but it's good to have good hygiene. The ladies appreciate it. About done. Oh. Guess I forgot to wipe out the EPS. That's all right. I'll do that another time. don't know what I mean about EPS it's this expanded polystyrene um, this is the impact uh, resistance portion of your of your helmet you just take a rag with some warm soap and water um, just wipe that out I'll do that later and here no, hopefully nobody gets sick and vomits while I'm moving this thing All I do to dry this further is just take some old tea towels um, and uh, I just blot and squeeze. 
put never a ring, don't twist it. You may deform this thing to the point where it doesn't fit back in your helmet. Just make sure it gets nice and dry. That excess water comes out of there. This actually has a hydro dry liner in it. Apparently it's supposed to be some kind of moisture wicking uh, fabric. Works pretty good. I would definitely recommend this Icon Armada helmet to anyone who's uh, looking to buy a new helmet. It's been pretty good for me. You guys can hear me all right. I've got the mic sensitivity turned down on my camera. Still trying to get familiar with that. Got to get it set up. Got to get the helmet set up for uh, vlogging, more vlogging. It's going to be interesting. See how that goes. I've already got one towel here. It's pretty much soaked up with water. Top one soaked up. These things do hold a lot of water, which means they hold a lot of sweat and gunk too. to get this done so just got to be patient and take your time all right these are still going to be quite damp uh, when you get done blotting most of the excess water out of them the next step is just to, I just have a fan, like a box fan or a regular uh, fan. I will take and lay these in front of, I'll take and lay these in front of a, uh, a fan. Um, sometimes it takes you know, six or eight hours. It's definitely something you don't want to do right before you go riding. It's easier to get caught without a helmet or a wet helmet liner. So I'll do this overnight, let it, uh, let the fan blow on it, and then uh, dry out these pads as best you can. That's best if you know you're not going to ride for a day or two, if, if that's even possible for some of you. And uh, you just go from there. It's going to take just a couple minutes to throw the helmet back together. Well, that is about it for how I wash a helmet liner. Uh, if you guys have any comments or or uh, anything to add, anything that might uh, help anybody out, just go ahead and leave any, something in the comments section. Be, uh, I'm happy to hear from you. Until next time, see you later.